If you're a serious buyer and you've been on the sidelines because of the extreme difficulty and challenge that you've experienced over the last couple of years, keep watching. Hi, I'm Zachary Coletti and this is my wife and partner Tanya Coletti. <laughs> welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. We talk about everything there is to know about living in Sebastian, Vero Beach, and the surrounding areas, including important market information, diving deep into the things that are important to people looking to move to or from Florida. We know that you may have way more questions than we can touch on. Yeah. So just give us a call or email us right here. We get a lot of questions and we love it. So don't hesitate. We got you. So you've been competing with all those other buyers out there who are driving up the prices of homes into the atmosphere only to lose yet another home to a cash buyer who is willing to pay tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, waive everything for a home that they didn't even see. That's crazy. Well, I've got news for you. Thank goodness those days are over. Yay. And now you can shop and compare, negotiate, inspect, and keep all of your contingencies and actually buy a home. Okay, so it's not new news, but what are the actual reasons why this is happening? Number one, more inventory. Sellers are actually starting to pull their heads out of their beep and <laughs> sell their homes. Builders are starting to build up inventory as they finish construction on homes and developments. And there are less buyers competing for those homes, which means, you guessed it, more homes to choose from. Although technically we are still in a low inventory market, you now have some breathing room. Some time to think about some of this. This is a big investment. Don't think too much though, because inventory levels are still low and we're trying to catch up from 2008 when building basically stopped. We have the millennial generation now growing families and looking for homes. Boomers are looking to downsize and Gen X are moving up. Yep. So all of this compounds the inventory problem. Yeah, that's a golden nugget right there. The inventory problem won't be solved anytime soon. Number two, higher interest rates. Now at the time of this video, we're at about 6% APR. Mm -hmm. So let's get real. I mean, these rates are still relatively low. And keep in uh, mind that property values over the last 300 years have increased on average of about 13% per year. Wow. So if interest rates get anywhere near that number, then we have a problem, but most likely they're not gonna get there. Real estate is a long-term investment, unless you're a flipper. And by the time you're ready to sell, there's more than likely chance that it's gonna be worth more than when you bought it. Now you add your equity in and Sweet. now you can see the beauty of real estate. So we've heard there may be a few more hikes in the near future, but that should be pretty moderate. They should be pretty moderate. Remember this phrase, marry the home and date the rate. Ooh, catchy. <laughs> right, so, so what that means is like, you go buy the home now and when rates come down, then you refinance it for the lower rate. It's gonna happen. That's what we did. Number three, fear. Most people don't truly know what's going on in the market. They watch the news and they listen to the powers that be, and what they're saying, and it really doesn't matter what channel you watch. It's important to remember that the news is no longer journalism. It's a tabloid designed to evoke emotion and keep you watching. All the while, the informed people and the companies are making moves, buying properties during the dip, taking advantage of lack of competition and perceived fear. But the majority of people, they're like deer in the headlights, yeah. frozen in the middle of the road, and we all know what happens to the deer. <laughs> yeah, smack. Now, if you follow the herd, you get what the herd gets. All right, number four, the cycle. Now, we're moving into the winter stage of the real estate cycle. The real estate market moves in cycles similar to the seasonal cycles. We had a great autumn. Yeah, you know, it was harvest season. Lots of equity and income. Absolutely, property values were up. Tons, tons of demand. Tons of demand. Tons absolutely. of it. Yeah. But now we are heading into the winter season of real estate. Things are going to cool down. The market's going to recoil and reset. And for some markets, it could be a long winter. But here in Florida, we're heading into snowbird season, and it's the season where people want to get out of the cold and come to their winter home, or they're ready to buy a home here in Florida. Now add that to the work from anywhere revolution. Mm. And it's, it's, I mean, that's strong and it's gonna to continue to become a major way people work. And people who live in high tax states like California, they're moving here too. The truth is 
We just don't know exactly how long this winter will last, but signs point to not very long, at least here in Florida. Well, it's kind of a safe bet here. Yeah. Fear is natural. I mean, without fear, our caveman ancestors would have been easy prey from the bears and saber-toothed tigers and other creatures trying to eat them. Short-term thinking was extremely valuable. Uh, I mean, to be reactive and defensive, and although we humans have evolved beyond the daily survival tactics that they had to use to survive that, that reactive nature, that survival instinct, it's still a huge part of our brains. So how does all that tie into the current real estate market? <laughs> well, you tell us. <laughs> okay. It's important to remember that real estate for most people is a long-term investment. So in five or 10 years from now, when you're ready to sell, there's a darn good chance that your home is gonna be worth a heck of a lot more than it was the day you bought it. Yeah. Don't fall into the trap of trying to time the market. Think long-term. Good advice. And be at peace. Time is your most valuable asset. It can't be paused or renewed. Be proactive instead of reactive. Take care of your health and spend time with your family and loved ones. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And until then, next time, thanks for watching. See you later.